500 here and I got a Nokia 3310. This is the 2017 version of it, the new one, not the old one obviously. And this is the best phone in the world at the moment. Why? Uh, before we jump into that, let's take a close look at the unboxing first and then we can see why this is the best. As we can see, the phone came in a really good packaging, it's so hard to open. Now we can see the phone underneath the plastic box. Even the box is hard to open. Who designed this box? It's a Nokia 3310. It's indestructible. Why do you have to make it so hard to open then? Before we get to the phone, let's see what came inside the box. First, we get a USB charger because the phone is USB because the phone uses USB like it's 2017 everything uses USB Next we get a earphone which I think it probably sounds really bad But actually the speaker on this phone is pretty good and then we get some paperwork which I wouldn't even bother to read and that's it let's go through the specs it has 16 megabytes of RAM 16 megabytes of storage 2 megapixel camera Bluetooth 3.0 1200 milliamp hour battery a 320 by 240 color display okay so now Let's get straight to the point. This is the best phone in the world because number one, the price. I got this for only like $45 and what what do you expect from a $45 phone? Not much obviously, like you expect like the greatest and the highest and greatest CPU? No. Do you expect the most RAM? No. Do you expect high resolution camera? No. What do you expect? It's it's a simple thing. It's a simple phone. You don't. You. I don't know why, but I actually like this phone, and the fact that it costs so little, I, that makes me happy. And I actually want to own this phone, but sadly, I this phone will be given away for someone later. Number two, the game. You know the classic game the classic Nokia game the snake game which is different on this phone but anyway it runs smoothly not 60 FPS or anything but it's smoothly unlike some cheap Android phone which runs games like really laggy and low resolution but with this whatever game you play will be played at I don't know 30 320 by 240 I guess I think that's the resolution which is low but again what do you expect $45 <sighs> obviously guys I'm joking this is not the best phone in the world but considering the price yeah it kinda is first of all I like the design actually because this phone is really different from the older one, like the first 3310, which is really bulky and large with, I think with smaller screen than this. And yeah, just, just look at this, it's really slim and apparently you can use it as a fidget spinner. Okay, back to the topic. Uh, 
I don't know. I can't. I couldn't say much about the design. It's just. It's really simple. And look at that. It's flushed, unlike some mobile phones, some Android phones with the lens sticking out of the phone's body. And this is nice. That means the lens wouldn't get scratched even though it's only a 2 megapixel which you wouldn't bother to use anyway and speaking of that this phone has a camera now unlike the older one but obviously $45 what do you expect it's only 2 megapixel and I will show the picture I took with these and And then some video that I took with this. Obviously not the best quality photo and video, but what again, what do you expect? For $45, that's good enough. So who is this phone for? I don't know. Maybe old people? Because old people doesn't like like new phone because they're too complicated. But I think it's more like for people who value their privacy because you don't even get 3G with this model. But I think there's a 3G model one. But this is this one is this one isn't. And it doesn't have GPS, so if you want to do something illegal, probably don't do it. But if you want to do it, you probably want to use like this phone because it doesn't have any GPS on it. It can do internet, but like really, really slow GSM network. So yeah, probably spies. Also, people who like simplicity who doesn't give a damn about a phone feature like the latest and greatest software or anything they the people who cares about the phone strength and its reliability like this phone you can I don't know like throw it away and it'll probably just fine you won't scratch a thing because you know, 3310, it's made of nuclear, probably. It's really strong and durable. Uh, also, I like this back cover. It doesn't show any fingerprints, but the screen does. It's a fingerprint magnet. So let's talk about the drawbacks of this phone. Like I say, it's a fingerprint magnet on the screen. Also, this is a curved screen. This is not like straight. There's a curve, which means if you get some lights on it, like the lamp, it'll, it'll get, uh, how can I say it? Like brighter because it curved, which, which means a single dot here might appear like a line because the curviness of the screen which is bad that's not good for a phone another thing is this is I don't know why this is too slim for a phone like it's too small for me I don't know about other people maybe you have small hands but this is way too small just 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 look at it I can fit this on my hand and the third thing is, this is 2017. I don't know how much memory this has, but it can only take five second video out of the box without taking any other photo or having uh, some music on the phone. You can only record for five seconds and take five pictures out of the box, which is not amazing at all because that means you need some SD card which thankfully it has an SD card slot which means you can 
upgrade the storage up to 32 gigs I think yes I read on the box yep definitely 32 gigs maximum capacity on the SD card slot let's talk about the performance of the phone well how do I test that this is Java based OS there's no benchmark for this kind of phone but it's been running really smoothly for days upon days and I think the main feature of this phone is probably the battery because I think it's bigger than the predecessor the older one this has a 1200 mAh battery which lasts apparently in the box it says 23 and a half days with a single charge and it also has USB port which means you can charge it more easily unlike the older one which is proprietary uh, plug and uh, I lose that charge kind of charger a lot and this is way better even though it charges like really slowly half amp 5 volts it's so slow it's only two and a half watts so yeah that's it probably because I cannot talk much about this phone it's it's just a simple phone made for people who cares about simplicity and doesn't have a lot of money with them and need something reliable for I don't know this will probably last forever since it's Nokia 3310 but we don't know might not but it might be so yeah that's it for the review of the Nokia 3310 the 2017 model yeah please like subscribe and share this video if you want to because your friend might like this or your mom or your dad because dad I mean dad or your uncles and grandmas because they have probably need this kind of phone they don't need the ultra expensive and hard to use Android phones or iPhone